Okay, so next thing we should do is we should look at uh, timers. So let's open up our TIA portal here. So we'll double click here, open this bad boy up. Takes a little bit of time here to open up. Three, two, one. There we go. Okay, so let's see if this base program works now. So we're going to open up the base program. This is the one where we've set up communication with our PLC. So let's open that guy up. Now everything's already configured for the device. So all we have to do is just go and write our PLC program now. Now it's probably blocked from view uh, because of the, uh, the software that I'm using to record. But right here underneath that silk screen image, it says project view. So I'm going to click on project view here. And this should open up my base program now. Looks good. Again, we have a blank screen here. So let's go here. Let's open up PLC one. And we're coming down until we see program blocks. We're going to open up this menu a little bit more. And we're going to the main OB one. Excellent. Okay, so now we got a blank slate here uh, that we should be able to use in order to talk to our PLC. So let's take our first input right here. So we'll grab a normally open contact or what I've been calling an examine if closed. And we're going to drop that guy here. So we'll wait till green and drop her in. Okay. And we're going to double click on that guy and say that that is input 0.0, .0 and hit enter. Okay. It looks a little bit funky. Eh? Let's see if we can see what's going on there. Hmm. Let's take a look. Uh, should be input 0.0, .0 this guy right here. Okay, that looks good. Okay, and let's see, we need to bring in a timer. So we need our instructions here. Let's see if we can find a menu with all of the instructions. Let's see, if we go along here, there doesn't seem to be um, anything else available there. If we, uh, if we drop that down, no, that doesn't do anything. Okay, what about over here with instruct? Oh, very nice. There's the instructions right there. So I'm going to open this guy up a little bit more so we can take a look. And we are looking for timers right here. So again, I hovered over here for instructions. I clicked on here and then we open her up a bit. And now we're looking at timers and we're going to take a look at an on delay timer first. So we're going to left click on this guy, drag it over until we see green and drop her in. And this will come up right away so um, we're going to choose automatic so it's a single instance timer if you call the function block as a single instance the function block saves its data in its own instance data block all right sounds good so we'll use that guy we'll hit okay there we go so this is percent db1 this is our iac timer zero uh, db this will always come up as our first tag here um, and we've got our input going from our push button number one. So our input zero going into the input here and the output is Q. Okay. Over here we have our, uh, our preset. And then here for the E, if we hover over here, is it going to give us the name of this guy? No, that's annoying. In the Tweedo suite, sometimes it gives you all of the bits that are available on this unit. Okay, so let's take a look at the, the preset. Let's say, let's double click on this guy and let's open this guy up. Okay, that's good. Maybe we can put five for a value for five seconds. There we go. Now look, it, as soon as I put the five, it changes it to five milliseconds. Okay, so let's see if we can put five seconds. Beautiful. Okay, so it looks like the default is in milliseconds. Um, we had to change that to seconds now um, and this value right here we can just leave blank okay we can put another rung in here so we'll add another rung right here and we'll have an instruction that looks at the output here for the timer and then we'll have that turning on something else now we could just put an output here in this rung right and so when this uh, is finished timing it can turn that on Let's do that and then we'll uh, we'll look at adding additional rungs later on. So 
let's just use the timer to turn on an output. Okay, it's an on delay timer. So we're gonna have to close this push button number one. That's gonna send the input into the timer. It's a non-retentive timer. So it's going to count up to five once the preset equals the accumulated value. Then we will turn on our output here. And here for our output, we're gonna put uh, Q0.0. Okay, looks good. So that'll turn, fire on our output number one. So it will take five seconds from the time that we've hit this push button to the time that our output actually turns on. If we interrupt the logic, so if we open up this contact anywhere from zero to five, then this guy will never fire on. This has to be true in order for this value to keep accumulated. Beautiful. Okay, so let's, um, let's just check to compile it to make sure that we have no errors. Beautiful, okay, it looks good, no errors, no warnings. Uh, let's download this to the PLC. Okay, so now we gotta download this to our PLC. So we're gonna come up here and download to the device. There we go. We're gonna load that guy on there, then hit finish. Beautiful. Now I can go on here, I'll show you this. If I go online, it will go online and we'll have check marks all the way across. So we are talking to the PLC and this program is now in the PLC, but we don't see anything real time. So in order to monitor, we have to go over here, turn the monitoring on, and then we'll be able to see the green lines and our logic continuity. I would just hit monitoring and then it goes online right away for you. There we go. Okay, so you can see that we have logic continuity to push button number one, or our input zero. So our input zero is here, the dip switch or toggle switch that corresponds to input zero is this guy right here. Right now it's in the open position, so this is not true. It's an XIC, we're looking for an examine if closed or a one in the memory. So at this point, we're waiting for that push button or that little switch and to be closed. Once it's closed, then it's gonna increment up to five seconds, so we'll see the value changing up here and it'll go in milliseconds. And then once it gets to five seconds, then the output should fire on and our output will turn on and you'll also see that output zero LED will illuminate as well. Okay, so let's close this switch and start the timing. There you go, you can see it incrementing there. Three, four, and at five, the output turns on. Beautiful. Okay, there's that LED showing us that we now have 24 volts available on each of our output terminals, which are right here. Okay, so at this point, if we stop that logic continuity, so if we open this switch, then it should turn off the timer and we'll find that this guy goes right down to zero. There we go. Now, again, this increments in, zero, in milliseconds, so it says zero milliseconds. Okay, if we have this going up to, up to five, but we stop it at three, it should stop the output from ever turning on because the preset has to equal the accumulated. We have to get to five seconds in order for the output to actually fire on. So if we close this switch right here and start counting up, one, two, three, and then open that switch, you can see that the output never fired on whatsoever. In order for this on delay timer to have an output go from a zero to a one, our preset has to equal the accumulated value. So we have to increment up to five seconds. One, two, three, four, then it turns on. Beautiful. As soon as this loses logic continuity, then the output turns off. Mimicking exactly like an on delay timer. Very nice. Okay, so let's go offline and let's switch this out for an off delay timer now. All right, beauty, so now we're offline here and we're gonna change this out to an off delay timer now. Um, so we could grab it from over here from our basic instructions and drag and drop over here, but ain't nobody got time for that. Let's go over here to hover over the ton symbol and we're gonna double left click over that guy. There we go. This is really cool. And then you have this drop down menu and then you just change it to an off delay timer and we're ready to rock and roll. Very nice, okay, so that's it, man. We got an input, we got an output, we got our preset of five seconds. 
Let's download these changes to the PLC. Uh, yes. Very nice. Okay. And let me just get the camera back up here. All right. So we could go online, but why would we waste time? Let's go over here to monitoring. It will turn it online. And we go into monitoring mode right away. Beauty. So again, this input is going into the timer. Our preset here is five seconds. Um, but when we close this switch, then it's an off delay timer, right? So we will find that the output fires on right away. Okay, so we're gonna close this and our output should fire on right away. Ooh, very nice, okay? Exactly like an off delay timer. Then we're going to make this open, which will make this untrue. So an off delay timer has to turn on and then off, and it takes some time to revert back to its rest state. So I'm gonna take away the logic continuity here at input zero, but this will stay fired on for five seconds. There we go. And you can see this time here, three, four, and it turns off. Very nice. Right when it gets to five, it turned off. Okay, so one more time here, guys, for the off delay. We're going to turn on the timer. When we enable the timer, then the output turns on right away. There we go. And you can also see our LED is illuminated here. And at that point, we're now going to stop the logic continuity to the timer. And the off delay timer takes some time to revert back to its rest state. Rest state meaning that the output would be off in rest state. Okay, so we're gonna take away this logic continuity. Times out, one, two, three, four, five. Beautiful. All right, guys, so those are your basics on the on delay and the off delay timer. Um, you can change the, uh, the value here, right? And you can have this change to, you know, five, 10 minutes. Um, I'm not sure the exact, uh, I haven't looked up the exact length of time that this timer can turn on for, but any of the information that you require on this timer would be available here in the help menu. So we'll go to show help. Just to finish off this video, I'll show you where to find everything on the timers if you wanna read up on them. Um, then we're gonna to go to program a PLC. Then we're gonna go down to instructions. Okay, S7-1200. Open this guy up. This is a basic instruction. So we're gonna open this guy up. Uh, we're using the LAD diagrams. Nice, and there's our timers. Beautiful, and there is our on delay and our off delay timer. So we open this guy up by double left clicking and it tells us everything about our on delay timer. It gives us our pulse timing diagram as well. All of our bits that can be, that can be used at each point. Uh, the fact that they are uh, Boolean inputs into this guy um, and describes everything for the on delay. If we wanna know the off delay, then it tells us everything about the off delay. Very nice. Okay, so that pretty much covers both of those timers. We'll stop the video here and the next video in the playlist will be counters. All right guys, thanks for your patience. We'll see you on the next video.